Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is a 40 inch gaming monitor from AOC. It's the biggest monitor by far. Overall specs, it is 3440 by 1440p resolution. It is 21 by 9 aspect ratio, 144 hertz and it is an IPS panel. Okay then, so when it comes to the overall frame rate, yes, when you look at 36 FPS, yes, there is a lot of uh, blur, and it is exactly the same when it comes to 144, but what I will say is that it is a very big panel, so some blur is going to be expected, and of course it's an ultra wide, the resolution isn't exactly a standard resolution like 2560 by 1440 or 4K, so some blur is going to be expected from a monitor of this size. Okay, and so we got some uh, World of Warships gaming. Now I picked this game for the one reason is because it's such a big game when it comes to the overall viewing angles of this monitor. Now all I will say is the viewing angles are rather good. And as you can see, the overall immersion, it does tend to zoom in a tiny bit, but you've got all this real estate. Look how big it is. It's huge. It's got so much real estate. And to be honest, this is probably the best experience you're probably going to get with these type of open world type games. Now, yeah, this is online. And yes, I am fighting against real people. And yes, that's probably a no-no. But I thought I wanted to just show you guys what it's like to have an actual monitor this size be capable of running this kind of thing. Now, these are the speakers. This is 100% and the overall sound is actually okay. Now, what I will say is the overall specs, it is 3440 by 1440p resolution. It is 144 hertz. It is an IPS display and you've probably seen during the UFO testing there is a little bit of blur when it comes to fast pace but if you are into the market looking for more of a uh, gaming oriented monitor like esports type then 144 hertz probably isn't the best choice for you but I am getting smooth frames by sure very smooth and system it's a 
uh, AMD Ryzen 9 7900. It's got 32 gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM. It's got an RTX 3070. So it can push these frames. Remember now the... the yeah, 240 hertz would be very nice with this monitor, but then you're going to need the computer to run that kind of frame rate. But for its resolution, it's actually not bad. This is the second ultra wide I've looked from AOC. And to be honest, it 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 looks gorgeous, but the colors are a little bit flat, which I've noticed. But uh, from reading and watching some other review about this monitor i do generally tend to agree with their statements with the monitor but if you guys are looking for something that's more fast paced then of course a 240 hertz monitor would probably be the better option but because of the overall size it's 40 inches it's 144 hertz ips display and for the overall size of the monitor i think it's an actually good uh, middle ground when it comes to gaming monitors but like I said if you guys want the overall gaming really fast paced then this isn't going to be a monitor for you but if you do like your content like movies uh, streaming online anything like that type of content then of course this monitor will definitely be awesome for that to actually control the overall interface I'm not a lover of the interface but that's just personal preference, that's up to you. Ah, oh, here we go. Whoop. Yeah, so I'm kinda of dying. But like like a look, right? This is these are the gate this is the game I'm currently playing a lot lately, and I thought I'd just share it with you guys because this is such an open world type game and look at it. Yeah, the colours aren't exactly the best, it's a little bit flat, but it's an IPS display and for the price point of £570, yes, you can do better, but for the overall size of the monitor, I, to be honest, you could do worse. So, let's uh, get back into the rest of the video and what we'll do is give you my overall opinion on the monitor. Okay then, so you saw gameplay of World Warships. Now, I was going to do some more gameplay, but to be honest, this isn't an eSports e type monitor. It's 144 Hz, so it's not going to be the overall best experience when it comes to fast-paced gaming. But what I will say is I have played a number of different types of games. CSGO, Battlefield, I've also played Among Us, I've played GTA 5, I've played WWE 2K23. A lot of different variations when it comes to games. And what I will say is, yeah, the colours are a tad flat when it comes to this monitor. And to be honest, I do prefer the, the curve when it comes to an ultra ride because it does help when it comes to fast-paced games or when it comes to actually doing things but when it comes to the flat panel this is where it helps for a big monitor like this is content creation or actually using it for content now if you're going to watch it for films or tv shows or watching welshy tech on youtube hey then yes this it's got some good features at 570 pound it's what really well, it's 40 inches. It's the biggest monitor I've ever looked at. And yeah, it's got middle uh, middle range specs for an IPS display. But the best selling point for this, I'd say, is the fact that it's 40 inches. 40 inches for a gaming monitor, that is quite amazing. Now, yes, you can get other ones from like Corsair. There's ones from ASUS that you can get bigger ones. But, of course, that's going to come with a big premium to it. Now, I have experienced OLED. I will say that the OLED experience is a lot better. It does tend to give you the blacks better as well as the contrast and colours. does tend to be a bit more vibrant. But, overall, if you guys are looking for a 40-inch monitor just to do casual gaming use it for content like watching films watching youtube tv programs and the odd casual game 
then this is definitely a monitor for you. But if you're looking for an eSports title type monitor, the OC does do very high refresh rate monitors. So I suggest maybe if you're looking for that type of monitor, then this isn't for you. But if you're a casual person who just likes to play games now and then with his friends, or primarily like I do, I like playing games, but I also love watching movies and stuff. Now, I will say watching it in 21 by 9 aspect ratio isn't the best experience because a lot of content isn't made with that. It's generally 16 by 9 or 16 by 10. But other than that, the experience was, fun, was good, very good. So... I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Rich Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.